$130 billion over the next six months. Now is the time to dig deep, to support the jobs and livelihoods of what we anticipate of being almost six million Australians. Building a safety net under half the Australian workforce with $1,500 for each full-time, part-time or casual worker of 12 months standing to businesses and sole traders whose turnover has fallen by 30% or 50% for businesses with a turnover above $1 billion. It is the equivalent of around 70% of the median wage and represents about 100% of the median wage in those sectors most heavily impacted by the coronavirus, like retail, like hospitality and tourism. To find out whether you're eligible, go to the Australian Taxation Office website. From today, employers and sole traders will be able to apply to the Australian Tax Office for workers that are on their books as of the 1st of March. It all adds up to an extraordinary intervention by government. The cash splash began with a $2.5 billion health package. Two days later came $17 billion in stimulus. 11 days on, $66 billion was spent on a rescue plan as Centrelink lines grew. Then $1 billion on health yesterday, all trumped today by $130 billion for a total of $217 billion committed in less than a month. And when the Reserve Bank's cash is included, the sum is extraordinary. More than 320 billion dollars or 16.4 per cent of GDP. The money is also a measure of the government's fear that the damage from the deliberate shutdown of Australia's economy will be profound because today it effectively bought a stake in every failing business. We are working now to a whole new set of rules. Parliament will be recalled to pass the package but Labor is on board. We will support any additional measures which get more help to more Australians more quickly. And it might not be the end of the assistance that will be needed to fight a health and economic emergency. We still do not know the many other challenges we will face in the months ahead. The nation is now deep in uncharted waters. <laughs>